So BRP was in the ATV business for, for several years and, and struggling as the seventh player uh, in an industry of seven. Um, we had a Traxster, which was a utility model, a very, very good machine. We realized that we were going to stay seven if we were not changing something fundamental about our, our brand positioning, our product positioning. But for that, the, the brand Bombardier ATV was just not carrying those emotions. So we needed to find something where the brand would carry an emotion that immediately the consumer would, would grasp and understand what it is. We had a brand of uh, dirt bike uh, in the 70s and 80s, Can-Am, uh, which was extremely successful. Can-Am was a successful brand right at the beginning in dirt bikes, made history in, in motorcycling. I want to talk about the, uh, the, uh, my little decal story because, you know, we were changing the brand on existing products and the Outlander in the rear fender had, uh, had a recess where we had a decal written Bombardier. And Bombardier is a fairly long name, so the recess was about that long. And uh, we're transitioning to Can-Am. It's a very short name. And the recess is made, it's built there. We can't change it until we change, you know, new platform, new, new molds. So we had to fit a very small name in a very big space. So the designers really didn't like that one too much. Worked very hard at, you know, proportions so that it, it didn't look too bad. But these decals ended up in the hands of all dealers. We, we gave them decals so that they can change vehicles that they had in stock. And they gave decals to consumers so that they can change the decals of the vehicle they already own. So the launch took place in, uh, in May of 06, uh, announced the new lineup, announced the change. And uh, we were back then, like I mentioned before, we were seventh player in an industry of seventh. And uh, in 2012 now, uh, we're, we're number one, number two in Canada. Uh, number four in the U.S. In fact, last month in October, in some uh, states in the Northwest USA, we became number three for the first time in history. I think it's a it's a huge success story for everybody that participated in the in the rebirth of Canada.